I'd have to go with Philip Seymour Hoffman. He's awesome in the movie. He's yeah. awesome. He's yeah. ferocious. Because his character didn't like us in the movie. So I was always really intimidated when he was there because, not like off camera, but in the scenes they were scary to me because he didn't like me in the scenes and I respect him so much that it, it made, actually made me feel bad that it he didn't like me It took the two of us scenes. and we still lost. Yeah. Like he just, he's just so good that when he is pretending to be mad at you like in a scene, it you, really hurts your feelings. <laughs> you, you, you like go home and... Yeah. Pool of your own urine. And I was just, I remember seeing on the call sheet. That? Yeah. Okay. I'm in a, I'm, I, I have a pool of my own urine. I travel Daily. with it. That's my, my one thing. Really? I have one diva thing. You're in therapy? Oh, heavily. Heavily. Yeah. yeah. I have like I three therapists the on the road with me. What, therapy or urine pools? The urine therapy. I don't drink it. Oh. I just lay in it. I'm not oh. a weirdo. <laughs> Him into the pitch blackness, and you know, he's surrounded by guys with, with AKs. Um, um, why? Um, man, I, I, I need a psychologist to tell me why, but, but it sure was good for me. Okay. Hey, Brad, do you believe in life after death? I'm not sure. I definitely believe in death after life. <laughs> mm. yeah. 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 Gotta say, that's, that's deep. Yes, I am, aren't I? Yeah. You are known as someone who <laughs> uses your celebrity to uh, raise awareness for worthy causes that the media overlooks. Well, I've always said Is that I, why you're on this show? I can't. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm on the show. Um, thank you, Leonard, for that. That was actually good fun. I thought it might be a little painful looking back. On, I, really, I really enjoyed that. I, I thank you. Um, I've always appreciated your, 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 your words on film. I find you a bit judgy, a little judgy, <laughs> but... <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good presentation, though. I would say we had a really good start. Um, there were a couple of logic issues along the way. Your protagonist. I don't know, a few lulls, but good finish, big finish. I'm gonna give you three stars. You are wow, it's things like this that, that nights like these that, that tell me I'm old. <laughs> um, been around a while, been doing this a bit. How much Italian do both of you know now? And of course, now you have a home there. No, parlo italiano molto bene, mi dispiace. Ah, piace. You just said piace. <laughs> is that a word? Uh, it is, but not in Italian. <laughs> piace. <Nice. laughs> That's right. Favorite uh, thing to sleep in? Oh, come on. The sheets. The sheets. I want to thank my co stars. Uh, Leo, Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie's feet, Margaret Qualley's feet, Dakota Fanning's feet. Seriously, Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. Gotcha. If you were an old man and you had to give... I am an old man. Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on. You're old, old man. Okay. I'm talking like 45 or something, okay? <laughs> you guys were super cool about taking a chance on me to do something really different. And I was well, really we were, you were forced that. on us by the studio. Yes, well, I know that, but that's, I they was hoping we you weren't going to say that. Some stunt casting. Favorite TV couple? Ah. <laughs> Favorite TV couple? Favorite TV couple? Uh, oh, geez, Ross and Rachel. <laughs> Favorite thing you can't live without? Is there anything you can't live without? Thing, a physical. Yeah, thing. material position. Clothes. Clothes. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brad. Let's be honest. It was a difficult part. The guy who gets high, takes his shirt off, and doesn't get on with his wife. <laughs> it's a big stretch. It's big.